What does it feel like to be bankrupted? Um, it was, my 50th birthday was August 24th. And, and actually that was the day that I worked out, heard from the court that we weren't going to be able to rent out our loft, that we were going to have to sell it. And yeah, that, that totally kind of brought things home. That you know, there, are, there are real life consequences. That this is not, it's not just a battle of words. It's not just a battle of facts um, that, you know, AJ Delario is... Who is you're a journalist at Gawker who got personally sued, and I think he's um, trying to give his rice cooker to Peter Thiel, because he, he yeah. doesn't have enough money to, to pay this guy. I mean, he, has a, he, has a, a, he goes to his bank account and then sees that there's a $230 million hold on his Chase account. It's when an he go, expensive when he rice cooker. <laughs> I thought it was disgusting, yeah. You know, AJ and I have to continue to fight these lawsuits. Um, and, you know, fortunately with the sale of the business, there's enough money to do so. I feel like the punishment didn't fit the crime. Um, Wells Fargo, for example, was sued. Uh, they, they had to pay $185 million and you lost $140 million. So just to put it in that perspective, um, at the same time, I don't, as a thousand heir, I don't even, even know if I qualify for a thousand heir. Although now we're in the same, that's kind of nice. <laughs> we're in the same bracket. Um, yeah, we can, we can be friends then. Comes full circle. <laughs> <laughs>